world of dolls and welcome back thank you so much for stopping by i hope that all is well fantastic and fabulous your way guys i want to take this moment to thank all you wonderful subscribers and viewers out there that support my channel i appreciate you guys so much you are definitely a part of my life that makes this all so special you guys leave the most awesome amazing comments and feedbacks on the youtube channel here and on my instagram i love the doll community i have met some amazing doll collectors and people out there in the doll community they are just a special group of people and i i love this platform because without it it wouldn't be possible for me to interact with so many of you awesome guys and i just want to say thank you thank you for being awesome fantastic and fabulous it that is not just my slogan it is how i truly honestly feel from the bottom of my heart i mean that so again thank you now this is a different kind of video and I wasn't going to share this video because I'm always trying to be on the positive note. But you can be positive and still be, you got to be true. You got to be true to yourself and you got to be honest. And sometimes things ain't always going to be peaches and cream. You know, I asked my daughter, you know, I said, should I, should I do this video or not? And she says, mama, yes, you should. She says, because as you say, your subscribers look forward to things like that. It's an honest opinion. So this right here is a package from Amazon. Um, I purchased um, a made to move yoga doll from the first wave in the dark skin um, skin tone. You guys know I've gotten hooked on the body swapping. It's like once I did my first one, I've been hooked ever since. And, you know, I really enjoy taking some of my favorite um, face molds, as you can see here in the background, and putting them on the made to move bodies because I enjoy um, dressing them and not just dressing them, but putting them in poses for my photographs and placing them in the doll room, in the doll, in my doll house, and, you know, just having a lot of fun with them. And I like the basic points of, uh, the basic five points of articulation, but some dolls, sometimes some things need more than that. But to get to my story, though, um, I like to purchase the Made to Move Bodies when I can find them for, um, a fair price because you guys know sometimes certain skin tones and dolls the price goes really crazy and then you regret that you didn't get them so I like that you kind of keep one or two laying around for future projects so that I don't have any regret but you know I've shared with you guys here on my channel as well that I purchase a lot of things from Amazon with the um, use a like new description and it is supposed to be an item that has damaged packaging, but the item is new and um, it's not something that someone returned. It's a new item, but because the packaging is damaged, you know, it's not like new. So they consider it used like new. Okay, so um, I've had pretty good luck with that. You know, I've had pretty good luck. I've had one incident before this where I ordered a Disney Descendant Uma from the latest wave. Um, she was an awesome price. She was like half price. And um, I jumped on it. Well, once I got it, as soon as I opened the envelope, I knew that she was not damaged package. I knew that it was a return because she was not even... She wasn't pinned in the packaging, and the packaging was open. So, but the doll still looked to be in new condition, so I wasn't going to be nitpicky about that. But in my inspection of the doll, um, 
I found that she was missing one of her hands. You know, those dolls come with the removable hands. And she was missing one of her hands. But she had on very long sleeves. So if I did not pull her sleeves back and inspect her and all of that, I would have never noticed it until probably later on that the doll had a missing hand. But, you know, I didn't make a big deal about it. I immediately did the return. And, of course, send it back, you know, because it clearly... It was not what I expected. But this right here, guys, this situation, I have slept on it, and I'm still in my feelings about it, and I'm still feeling some type of way. So I said, you know, it's time for me to talk to my YouTube channel, like my daughter said. Um, so the package came yesterday. Yesterday was a real busy day for me. It was my yard work day. Yard work day, um... It, I, I'm, I'm wore out when I'm done with my yard work because it takes me a little over two hours to do my yard and um, you know once I'm done all I want to do is get in the house get out of those sweaty clothes shower and call it a day so I wasn't you know I just wasn't in the mood yesterday to do this and like I said I slept on it and I thought about it um, I had tried to reseal it and then I realized I want to share this with you guys because I really want to know y'all's honest opinion. You know, opinions can be opinions are biased because you're looking at it from my point of view. But I want to hear your point of view and I want to know has this ever happened to you? Because you know, I order a lot of things online. You know, a lot you you have to do that because if things are not um at your reach if they're not accessible to you and the only way you can get them is online, you got to do it. And for most part I have had most good experiences, but I wanted to share this one because I was just at awe about it, and I was very disappointed with Amazon, and the part that makes me disappointed is not just the fact that they made a mistake, because mistakes happen, mistakes happen, and we are not perfect human beings and we're not going to catch all errors, okay, we just make, no matter how hard you try, you're going to have some error. So, the incident is this. Let me stop blabbering and show you guys what I got. Alright, so I told you what I ordered. And those Barbie collectors out there know that this is... I got got. Okay? I got got. Um, this is not a damaged package. This is a used item. This is clearly an item that someone purchased and returned. Um... We Barbie collectors out there that do the body swaps and why we buy these dolls, we can probably assume that whoever purchased this doll, purchased her for her made-to-move body, swapped her head on another body, and put her back in the box. What reasoning they put for the return, I don't know. Um, this packaging also has the Amazon Warehouse inspection on it. And then this little tape here that never what never got stuck to the box. It's I don't know what happened. But clearly, after I showed it to my daughter, she got tickled. She laughed. My daughter has one of the biggest sense of humor you will ever, ever run across. She is, um, she's such a sweet soul. And she... She just gets so tickled. And when she does, she loses her breath. She can't breathe. After she composed herself and looked at the picture, she said, Mama, come on. I don't even collect dolls. Don't know nothing about these dolls. And I know that that's not a new package. I know that that's not new. So, clearly, I want, I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. But my biggest disappointment here is not that somebody did this. Because, guys, if you've lived in the world and you've dealt with people, you know that people are not always good. And even when people aren't bad, sometimes they do things that are not good. So sometimes people do stuff that's just unacceptable. And uh, this is one of them. So this part doesn't shock me. I'm not shocked that somebody returned it like this. Now, I'm still at a awe of why they put the other doll in there. Because as you can see, this is the head of the doll I ordered. And this is her outfit, but it's not her body. And then this one is the wave, the recent wave of yoga dolls. And that's her head, not her body. And that is definitely not her clothes. Not sure why they threw her in. I mean, maybe their conscience was working on them. And they knew they were doing a... 
a naughty thing so they decided to make it right <laughs> their eyes by throwing in the extra doll but the part that I'm really feeling in my feelings about is the fact that Amazon will allow this to pass an inspection to resale now let me tell you I only got like a 50 cents off the price so it's not like I got it for 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 um, a few dollars less than what I would have paid if I would have bought it in um, new condition that's not the case so shame on Amazon again I'm just at awe now of course they're gonna send me a replacement why wouldn't they um, but the part that is leaving me feeling some type of way is that they are determined to get this back I don't understand why you want this back are you planning on putting it back in the warehouse and hopefully putting it back up to sell to someone else and then that person might not realize that they got scammed I, I don't I don't get it I don't understand that um, many years I have purchased from walmart.com ta um, target.com and I've had very rare but I've had situations where I have received packages that were to completely damaged and I was just not feeling it and I called and they sent me out a replacement immediately and they told me they did not want the damaged item back to discard it whatever they did not want it back because they were I you know why would you want damaged goods back okay but I don't understand I hope that it is not their intent to put this back in the warehouse I really do I hope this goes in the trash bin when it gets back I just don't you know I'm just I just cannot believe that even if you don't like my daughter said you don't have to know anything about dolls to know that this is not what's in the package I, I, that this is not new I mean she, <laughs> guys I am just so at I lost for words about this but like I said I slept on it and I woke up this morning and I just said you know I got to share this with you guys so they're sending out my my great awesome UPS driver I've had the same UPS driver for years he is so awesome so you know I look forward to seeing him come to the door with a package he's such a great guy you know that he's got to come back out to get this today I mean really he just brought it yesterday he's got to come back and pick it up today but you know it's his job and you know I'm sure he doesn't mind because it's his job is what he gets paid to do but I'm just I'm just at a loss for words and my opinion is that it's it's a very bad situation. I mean, Amazon, let's face it, they ain't hurting for funds. Through this pandemic, they are on the top of the world right now because nothing was affected in their business that slowed up their money making, okay? Their money their money making is constantly going on because everybody is having to turn to Amazon, you know, for their goods. But I'm just, I just can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about it. Have you ever ordered something that you thought was new and when you got it, you got something like this? Huh? How did, you, how did it make you feel? I mean, what, what were your feelings on this? I just really am, I want to know what you guys think. I really, really do. But. I just had to share this with you guys because I just wanted to know. I had a doll that I was going to have in mind for this. And um, again, I'm just at a awe. I'm just at lost for words. I'm just, I'm just at lost for words. But guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, and, and let me say this before I, before I end this video. I, I order a lot of things for my grandbaby off Amazon and I would really really I never thought about it until this happened to me that I would really be upset if I ordered her something you know because I don't get to see her since this happened like I want and she got something and she got something like this this is disgusting it would really make me I'm really starting to feel some type of way and I gotta let it go I really do I can't I've, I've held on it for a whole day into the next day and you know I don't do that you know I, I gotta let it go because it's still in my peace and I don't like to let stuff steal my peace so I'm hoping that once I close out this video put these this mess back in this package and seal it back up again and 
wait for the UPS driver to come get it, that I'm done with it. But I, you know, I'm just still at a loss for words. I have never experienced anything like this before. <laughs> Amazon is a big name. They are a big company. And I'm just, I don't know. But again, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I am Ruby Red's World of Dolls there as well. Continue being awesome fantastic and fabulous and hopefully yes not hopefully i will see you guys with a great re um review i've got some great ideas um that are standing in line waiting to be next so i'll see you awesome people then that means get extra extra